I added every Super Mario Bros character to Minecraft. First I made Bowser. Let's extend out his body. Now let's color his body yellow, and we'll put the spikes on his shell. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, I think he actually looks really good. Ignore the low effort spikes on his back. But other than that, he definitely looks like Bowser. Let's spawn more Bowsers. Let's see the Bowser army versus a bunch of zombies. Oh no, this Bowser is getting targeted. Okay, that was too easy. Let me just fix you guys up a bit. Alright, I'm going to give Bowser a 9 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Princess Peach. Let's extend her dress down. Now let's color her head. And we'll add this thing on her chest. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, there's definitely something wrong with her arms. But other than that, I think she looks good. It almost looks like her arms are backwards. This is so weird. Princess Peach, stop aiming the bow at me. I'm not Bowser. Let's spawn a baby Princess Peach. I literally try this every time. Why? Let's spawn a Princess Peach army. What about the Princess Peach army versus an Iron Golem? They're actually going to kill the Iron Golem. Rip Iron Golem. Alright, I'm going to give Princess Peach an 8 out of 10. She looked really good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Toad. Let's delete his back legs, and we'll shrink his legs. Now let's make his body smaller. Now let's give him a mouth, and some eyes, and finally we'll give him some arms. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. Okay, something is wrong with his legs. Of course something is wrong. When isn't it? Okay, that's fixed enough for me. Other than the foot problem, he actually looks pretty good. Let's see a supercharged toad. The charge actually kind of fits him, it's not bad. Let's see if a supercharged toad can one-shot a crocodile. Okay, I guess it can. Let's spawn an army of toads. And let's see them fight an actual toad. A really weird looking toad. Okay, the toad had no chance, he got one shot. Although all the other toads died too. Alright, I'm going to give Toad a 7 out of 10, he looks okay. It's time for the next mob. Next, I decided to make a Goomba. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll give him a few legs. Now let's color his legs brown, and we will add his angry eyebrows, and finally we'll add a few teeth. Alright, I think that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Wait, where did he go? Oh yeah, silverfish like to go into the stone. Okay, he doesn't look too bad. He doesn't really have a walking animation, but I guess that's okay. I think he really likes this wall. I'm trying to stomp on him, but it's not working. This must be a special Goomba. Let's spawn an army of Goombas. Mario better watch out. This is a lot of Goombas. Alright, I'm going to give Goomba an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Shy Guy. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll move his head, and we'll add his mask. Next, let's add his eyes. Now, let's give him some arms. Now, finally, let's add some texture. And I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. All right, that actually looks pretty good. Somehow, the pigs always end up looking good. He even looks normal when he walks. Let's see if the baby has a floating head. Yep, his head is still floating. But I don't think it looks as bad as it normally does. Let's spawn an army of shy guys. And now let's ride a shy guy. How is he able to carry me when he's so small? I have an army now because they're all following me. His right arm over the mask looks so funny. Let's ride a shy guy with speed too. Okay, this doesn't make him much faster, honestly. Alright, I'm going to give Shy Guy a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Wario. Let's color his body purple, and we'll add his yellow shirt. Now, let's color his head, and we'll make this thing his nose. Now, let's give him a couple of eyes. Next, we'll add his hat, and we'll draw the W on the front. Now, finally, let's Wario-ify the chests. And that looks pretty cursed. Let's see it in-game. That is not what we want. That looks a lot better. Well, I don't know if better is the word, but it is what we were looking for. Let's see a baby Wario. I like this one a lot better. Let's spawn a bunch of Wario's. I hate the noise they make. And let's see if they'll fight me. Okay, really? He's just spitting on me. Upon further review, I don't think llamas actually fight you. I give Wario Llama a 6 out of 10. It's not that bad considering how cursed it is. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made a Koopa. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll shrink his legs a bit. Now let's move his head, and we'll add his shell. Now let's give him some arms, and some fingers. Now finally let's add his shoes, and I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. That actually looks really good. Okay, his head should not be moving like that. Yeah, we'll just ignore his head, because other than that, he looks fine. Let's spawn a baby Koopa. Of course his head is floating, he's a pig. I've never seen a head float this high before, this is crazy. You know what we have to do. Let's ride a Koopa. I've never looked at this in first person before, this looks kind of cool. And out of all the mobs I've made that you can ride, this one doesn't look that bad. Other than the fact that his arms literally just don't move. Oh, and all their necks are broken when they follow me for some reason. Alright, I'm going to give the Koopa an 8 out of 10, his neck is broken. It's time for the next mob. 
Next, I made Waluigi. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll color his shirt purple. Now let's color his head, and we'll give him some big white teeth. Now let's add his mustache, and we'll add his overalls. Now finally, we'll add his orange shoes. And that looks good, let's see it in game. Oh wow, that actually looks pretty accurate. Why is a chunk of the hat missing every time the mob has a hat? Let's spawn an army of Waluigi's, and let's see if they can take down Blue. I don't think they're fighting back. I thought Waluigi was supposed to be a bad Luigi, but he won't even fight. Never mind, this one poisoned him, and he also poisoned himself. It looks like Blue wins this fight. It took the poison like 30 seconds to damage him. Alright, I give Waluigi an 8 out of 10, his face is kinda scary. It's time for the next mob. Next I made Luigi. Let's color in his blue overalls, and we'll add the green to his shirt. Now let's add his yellow buttons, and we'll color in his white gloves. Next let's color in his head, and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's add his mustache, and we'll extend his nose out a bit. Now let's add his green hat, and we'll put some hair on the sides. Now let's give him some ears, and we'll add the L on his hat. Now let's finally extend his shoes out a bit, and that looks pretty good, let's see him in game. Okay, he looks pretty good. I don't know why I keep remaking the giant though, he literally does nothing. Literally all he can do is stand here and take damage. I wonder if the rock will attack him. Yeah, I guess he doesn't like giants. Oh no, the rock is sinking, and so is Luigi. Wait, who will die first? Okay, it's looking like Luigi wins this one. Can Iron Golems even drown? Okay, I'll just leave you down here, I guess. I give Luigi a 7 out of 10, he's kinda boring. It's time for the next mob. Next I made Donkey Kong. Let's start by coloring him brown, and then we'll color in his chest. That looks good. Now we'll add hands. Copy that over here, and we'll make his arms slightly shorter. Now we'll give him fingers, and a thumb. Now we can color his hands and fingers in. That wasn't supposed to happen. Now we'll make his feet, and we'll color these in as well. Now we can start to shape his face, and give him some eyes underneath that. Next, we can add a mouth. That looks really good. Now we just give him some nostrils, and add his ears, and we'll give him his wavy hair on the top. And finally, we need to add a tie. We'll color that fully red, and now we just need to write DK on his tie. That looks really good, let's see it in the game. Yo, this is kinda sick! Oh, his tie is gone. Let's see him fight some zombies. Oh no. Here we go, good as new. Let's find a jungle. Now they're in their natural habitat. I wish I could spawn a baby one like Diddy Kong. Oh, they're dying. They can't get in. Rip skeleton. Alright, I give Donkey Kong a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. Time for the next mob. Next, I made Mario. We'll start by making him fully red. Now we'll make his legs blue. And we'll add his overalls. I'll put the yellow buttons here. Now we can color in his face. I think we can leave his nose, honestly. And add some eyes. Okay, that looks weird. I'm going to make the nose smaller. And now he has new eyes, which look way better. And we'll give him a mustache and some hair on the sides. And the top, of course. Now we'll make his hat. This looks really cursed at the moment. It looks much better in red. And now I'll draw the circle where we will put the M. But first let's give him ears. And we'll make his front legs red and add some gloves. And we'll color in the boots on his back legs. Now we can finally draw the M on his hat. Honestly, I kind of like it. Let's see it in game. This is definitely cursed, but he doesn't look too bad as a pig. Let's see him as a baby. Okay, his head is way too big. Oh no, there's a bunch of Goombas in the way. No, you're supposed to stomp on it. I think my Marios are defective. Certainly you can't mess this one up. Bruh. There we we go. There's nothing down there, but I mean, oh god. I give Pig Mario an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good.